right, now we've got Myself by Nav versus Paris by Suicide Boys. Here's probably where we're gonna upset some people. We're gonna upset some people. We have some inherent biases here. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is our opinion. Yes. <laughs> the comment section is for your opinion. <laughs> yes, and leave it down there. Blow me up before and I feel like myself again. Blow me up some dope and I feel like myself again. One of my favorite songs of all time. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Tell me what you know by the motherfucker at the bottom with a gold grill gleaming. I mean, this the Nav song's the far better song yeah, here, yeah. in my opinion. Myself by Nav moves on. Stand up, Canada. Next we got Pull Up With A Stick by Saw Baby versus Look At Me by X. We're gonna piss a lot of people off here. We are gonna absolutely. Pull up with a stick, let it hit, I put this on the tin. Now, before we even get into the next song or our decision here, we are two of the biggest Saw Baby fans. Yeah, you're not gonna like what we have to say. Nope. Hey. Listen, say it, Riley. It's pull up with a stick. It, it just is. is. It, it is. is. It's not even my favorite Saw Baby song. Not even close. No. But there is something that Saw Baby provides that it's I timeless. Just, yeah, you just can't. You can't replace yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, Look At Me was an asteroid that hit the Earth. Yeah. And it had its effect, you know, sent shock waves through music in yeah. general, but it just doesn't have the staying power. I will say the beat for Look At Me to this day kind of like makes my thighs shake a little bit when I hear it. This, that's our first like real pissing people off moment, I think. Yeah. Woke Up Like This versus Myself by Nav. Dude, this Whoa. is like a final <laughs> four matchup. <laughs> it's Woke Up Like This for me. Um, there are that many songs that I like more than myself by Nav. So I'm gonna go with myself and okay. leave this up to DJ Grant. He's not happy about it. No, he's not. I think I'm gonna go with myself. Congratulations, Nav's fan, Nav fans. You guys beat Playboy Cardi. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that is our second very upsetting people moment, but- I feel like Magnolia is more important than Woke Up Like This. And I don't think that's true. <laughs> just just let me stomach this one. Let's move on. We've got Myself by Nav versus Money Longer by Lil Uzi Vert. I am firmly on the Myself train for this one. I, I'll side with you because I think it's a more enjoyable song, but Money Longer feels more important in the grand scheme. Woke Up Like This is better than Money Longer. Yeah. And Myself beat Woke Up Like This. Well said, but the, the transitive property doesn't exist in sport, but since this is a music bracket, I'll yeah. allow it. Okay. I'm not a huge Igor fan, and we'll get into that later, like throughout the video, I'm sure. We've got Puppet versus Radicals. Very different tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Real soulful take here. Yeah, Radicals has a real special place in my heart. Man, me too. <laughs> I, I, I specifically remember listening to that like in high school and being like, you know what? Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. I hate everything. It's Radicals for me, solely on nostalgia, honestly. Radicals moves on. Come on, Radicals. Whether it's rain or shine, I know. That might be like top two for me off Igor. It is my least favorite. Oh, I, I love that song. Yeah. I feel like it's a good enough time for me to say through listening to all these songs to make this bracket, I thought that I was going to listen to Igor more and like it more. Mm -hmm. And it really did do the opposite. And that is not to like shit on anybody who likes Igor. I know it's like widely considered his best album and all those things. From a production standpoint, I think it's fantastic. I just cannot stand his singing on the album. It's this kind of like thin gossamer approach to the vocal treatment that is akin to like Pharrell or something, yeah. but Tyler just doesn't have those pipes. Sure. So it just kind of like shrinks his voice down to this little weird thing. And I understand how you could like it. I just don't. Yeah. And so the more of it that there is on any Igor song, the less I like the song. Even though I, I respect the production is great. The concept is awesome. It's just like, it annoys me. To For me, to the voice on that album has always taken me deeper into the concept. Yeah. You know, and made me feel almost like it's an it's alien. Like it's not Tyler. That's fair. I mean, yeah, but that is my bias against Igor is mm. fully from a vocal standpoint. Now we got Damo 23 versus Are We Still Friends? Easy. Easy. Ain't have no hoopty. Four story home. Got a climb eight set of stairs just to see where my fucking roof be. One of his best bangers of all time to date. Absolutely. Oh There's two God. of them on this record. We'll get to the other one. We'll get to the other one. Yeah. We be, we be friends. Are we still friends? 
friend. I love that song too. It's beautiful, but it doesn't, I mean, it's not even in the same ballpark as Damo 23. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank God. I was really worried for a oh, second. Oh, I'm not gonna pick, I don't think I'll pick really anything over Damo 23. <laughs> Banging that in my yellow Ford Focus. Like Now we got Sweet slash I Thought You Wanted to Dance versus Colossus. <laughs> Beautiful melodies. Oh, it is a feat of musicality yeah. what he does on that song. Like, mm -hmm. out of his box even. Yeah. Like, I've never heard him do something like that. No, it's crazy. Life is just like yours, no father. My mama must have forgot to stop with a pop condom. I don't know, I love that song and the the chimes on it. Like, this, this is a great song. It is, but I gotta go with Sweet. I thought you wanted to dance. I'm going with Colossus. Okay. Grant, another decision left up to you. I'll take Colossus. First win of the day? Yeah, I was First gonna win say. Of the day. <laughs> I was close though. I know, I know. Really close. Colossus is just so iconic. Like well, it's just like one of those that is Tyler song, Colossus. Yeah. We both said Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance was so outside yeah. of even his world. That's the reason I like it, but I'm fine with Colossus winning. I still love that song. Okay, now we got Slater versus Igor's theme. I'll agree with you here. Slater? Yeah, I'll take Slater. Yeah. Ooh. See, you he's mad. You don't get to say he's when mad. we agree, I, I, you I, gotta I, sip I, it. I, 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 we agree. That's why we're on camera. You have to be happy for us agreeing. Be happy. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Grant. Grant. Thanks. I didn't have to do the tartar sauce this time. Me and Slater just hit a curb. Radicals versus Hot Wind Blows. I love Hot Wind Blows. You voted against it in the first round, but nostalgia is still carrying here for me. Yeah, Radicals wins for me. And yeah. it's weird because it's like, it's a goblin song. Yeah. But it's just that hook. It just it's, gets me. It's the hook. It means it's still, those words still ring true to me. Especially burning stuff. Then next we've got Gone Gone slash Thank You versus Damo 23. All the shit I've talked about Igor and loving it, I'm really starting to pick against it in these later rounds. Yeah. It's Damo 23. Oh yeah, Damo absolutely washes. Now we got 90210 versus Astro Thunder. Are you... <laughs> You're looking at me like you have an opinion. I do. Go ahead. I I rather listen to Astro Thunder. That's insane. I'm sorry. That's just like absolutely crazy. I. It's me. That's me. Yeah. That's you. My thoughts. Right. My emotions. Right. My feelings, and they matter. I know two one was played out at this point for me. <laughs> I mean it. It's 90210 yeah. for me. I'm taking 90210. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not upset about that. I just, I need my piece to be out there. Okay. I do appreciate Astro Thunder more. Next, we've got Feel No Ways versus Hold On, We're Going Home. Oh, what a, what a weird matchup here. And now you're trying to make me feel away on purpose. Now you that is one of my favorite Drake songs of all time. Yeah, it's really good. Production reminds me of Blood Orange. It's like such an interesting song. It's slept on in a certain way, but real Drake fans, that's a favorite. Like I remember Tyler, the creator, said that was his favorite Drake song. Yeah. And he asked Drake to play it at Camp Flogna, but instead Drake got booed off stage because they were expecting Frank Ocean. Just hold on, we're going home. It can't beat it though. What do you mean? Feel No Ways is great, but it can't win here for me. I hate that these two songs are up against each other because I feel like they both fill specific niches for Drake. Like Hold On, We're Going Home is a really special song. Like mm -hmm. I love that it was on the radio. It felt very different for Drake and he pulled it off. Great singing performance, mm -hmm. but Feel No Ways is one of my favorite Drake songs ever. So I'm going Feel No Ways. Our first Grant Decider here. I'm going Hold On, We're Going Home. Oh my God. Feel, feel No Ways, ways is out losing in the first round. In the first round. I will let you guys know right now, that is in my final four, personally. Juicy Slide versus Live from the Gutter. Here we go. And it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up. Right for slide. My hottest Drake take of all time. That song is not only good, I think it's phenomenal. I really liked 2C Slide when it came out, but it hasn't aged that well for me. I still love listening to this song. Yeah. The production is so cool. I think that hook is well written and it's got some bars on it. Like, I, I don't know. I get why people hated it because it felt like a plea to be on TikTok mm -hmm. and be like, have a TikTok song for Drake. But at the same time, I like it. We've got back to back versus 2C Slide. Now here we go. 2C Slide's gonna walk here. Oh yeah. Two Juicy Slide is better than Back to Back. Yeah. Back to Back is vicious. It's produced by Nav, and Nav is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Maybe the greatest to ever touch a microphone. Probably. But Tuesday Slide is so <laughs> fun. People are going to be like, how is Tuesday Slide this far in your guys' bracket? Last one. Untitled 3 versus King Kunta. Worried about your career, you have a think of your health. What did the Indians say? A piece of land. That's a piece of pussy. Thing. I love this recording. Bitch, where you and I was walking. Now I run a game, got the whole world talking. King Kunta, everybody want to cut the...
a weird one for me. I, it's got a great bounce, mm -hmm. great rhythm. It is an awesome song, but like it's low on my list of Kendrick songs. See, to me, the rhythm of this one is what holds it back for me. It feels a little like goofy mm -hmm. and it's like harder to get into. But then the second half of the song where it works in all these other production elements where like it has that kind of like Eminem thing. Yeah. It's like, and then he's rapping like the way he raps on the back half of that song. I love it. Yeah. But I do think I'm going to go with Untitled 3 here. Whew, thank God. That's where I wanted to go. Yeah. You would not have liked what I had to do. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm <laughs> saying that. Okay. White America versus Must Be the Ganja. <sighs> What's saying white America? This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, I've never heard anything <laughs> like that. White America! He sounds like a dictator. Yeah, That's like the whole thing. <laughs> I will say, this to me is kind of like the total encapsulation of how self aware he was at this yeah. moment. That it is impossible to believe how much he lacks self awareness now. Like, yeah. I kind of am like, where did he lose that? The way he talks about it on this song, it really hits it from all angles. It's like a unique way to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's not like a fun song to listen to. Yeah. It really, like, like zeroes in on exactly why Eminem was popular, how much he knew why he was popular. And he does it in still being like funny. Like he yeah. says a lot of funny shit on this song. Like I love that he's like, Erica loves my shit. Yeah. You know, like he's using you know, like white names. Like Yeah, the Eminem shows like his peak of self-awareness. It's the ganja, it's the marijuana that's creeping up on me while I'm so high. Oh, this melody is so nasty, though. I do not like this song very oh, much. Oh, really? No, it's okay. This album is full of voices that I don't like. I don't know if I'd even heard it until really? like a month ago. <laughs> That's crazy. And I was like, okay, I don't like this, right? And then like a week later, I was like, it's the marijuana. With the <laughs> ganja. He's in a pocket here that to me just like scratches a real certain itch. But I don't think it's... I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't know. Well, you know where I'm going. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to vote for white America. Because I agree, like, white America is, like, I don't want to say profound, but it is, like, a more meaningful song in the catalog. I do think it's cool, like, that level of self-awareness he's at at that moment. But just pure listenability for me, I love the cadence on Must Be the Ganja, and there's, like, not really a cadence in white America where it's, I'm, like, grooving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey. I'm like, going to leave it up to you, Grant. I'm going to take Must Be the Ganja. It's the marijuana. You guys are ruining this bracket. Oh my <laughs> God. White America Lee's first round. Things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that I live me. This song is like, you know how you said the box is overplayed? Yes. This one is is overplayed, but I don't care. I, yeah. I This song goes every time for yep. me. I don't know why. It's like, I know it's kind of corny to love this song, but I really love it. Me too. I'm unashamedly always been huge Drake stan. It's a little bit basic in like the production of right. it and stuff. There are other Drake songs that I like more, but in the terms of like big rap songs from the radio, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. For sure. He wrote a lot of Instagram captions too. It's an S for me. Yeah, it's an S for me. I can feel the chat <laughs> eviscerating us. That's fine. All right, 2014. I'm so fancy. Wow. This is one of those stinkers that I just love. When it came out, I was all about it. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I understand why you guys got problems with Iggy, but I love this song. It's thick and it slaps. I mean, the bass on it. I think A? Yeah, it's an A. Okay, so yeah. This Not is a... quite an S because I don't think Iggy wraps her ass off on this thing. No, it'd she still hard has to, it. It'd be hard to wrap <laughs> that ass off. <laughs> I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. I feel good sometimes I don't. Ain't that relatable? <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. Even during the span of the same day. Yeah. I feel good and I feel bad. We got a lot of hate in our most popular rap song of each year tier list for putting this at S. They hated on us a for lot. that? Yeah, I mean, the Drake hate is real, you know. For sure. Yeah, I, I like this song a lot. Number seven. We ain't ever getting no Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. I get that. I get that chill up my spine. Oh, yeah. You know? This kind of changed the face of pop radio. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, even Coldplay was chasing this afterwards, yep. you know? The theme song to every party I never wanted to be at. This is like the whitest song of all time. <laughs> like, getting older. But it's a smash, man. Like, it is, it is just a smash. It is, out of all the songs we've played, maybe besides like, no, out of all the songs we played, I think I've heard this the most at parties. That's probably true. This is a real in public song. One yes. that you will hear every goddamn place. Yep. It's a D, a C. Oh, I don't think it's that low. You think it's a B? Um, yeah, low key. I think this is a B. You think it? 
Yeah. Say it out loud. Say the name of the song and the artist. I think Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey is a B. You did it with a straight face. You're not joking. I'm not joking. I really do think it, I, I, it's just, it's well written. It's, it's, I don't know. There's something about it. I love it. You love it? I love that you love it. Well, I mean, I'm, you can pull it down if you want. I don't care. I mean, I'll, a C is where I think, but if Sunflower's like our C precedent, it is a little better. It's better than Sunflower. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go B with it. Can't believe I'm going on record doing this. this is <laughs> 2018. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes. God's plan by Drizzy Drake. Talk about a moment. That was a moment. A moment with no gimmicks. The music video was him handing stacks of cash to people. Not a single gimmick. Only the music talked for itself. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love that song though. Also gotten shit for praising that song so much on this channel, but I think it's Drake's best hit. You know what you can't give me shit for? What? Praising him. Yeah. It's his plan. My plan is to continue to give this song an S. Absolutely. I think it's fantastic. This is a song I will continue to listen to by myself. 2002. Not like you, just say sorry. A world's written on a different story. This time. The biggest rock band of all time, Nickelback. I'm gonna be real here. Go ahead. This song's incredible. It's not like you to say sorry. Nickelback, a little disproportionately hated as like the worst band ever or whatever. They have a lot of songs that I do think suck. This is not one of them. This is like their best song ever to me. It's just great writing. Yeah, it's booty music for me though. Booty music? Yeah, like, it's like booty hole. Oh, like it's bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those five words in my head. Scream, are we having, having fun yet? Party down reference. Yeah. Are we having fun yet? It's like a C for me. This is an S tier for me. I There's something about his ramen noodle hair that I just I yeah. just love it. You know, Chad Kroger. All right, now we got Tyler the Creator. We got Flower Boy, Igor, Call Me If You Get Lost, the three most recent Tyler albums. This is nowhere near perfect for me, and anybody who watched our Tyler bracket knows that. I I don't know, Igor just doesn't do it for me vocally. I love the production, and I know that's his most critically acclaimed album, mm -hmm. uh, like the fan favorite. And Call Me If You Get Lost is a good album. I would say it's probably even a great album, but I just prefer other stuff from Tyler more. Yeah. Flower Boy is a perfect album to me. Yeah. But other than that, I think you have a good album and a great album and then a perfect album. So it can't be a perfect run. I agree. I don't like the most recent record that much. Mel My Eyes, I have like the controversial opinion amongst our, our fans and people that I talked about music. I I love the first song on that record. I think there are good songs on it. But yep. to me, just the way he delivers on it feels a little bit like he's trying to go for a mature delivery and ends up almost in like with a J. Cole thing happening sometimes yeah. that doesn't really hit with me. Yeah. I like the more unraveling Denzel from back in the day. Still Me a controlled too. flow and everything, but not trying to do anything that is too heady or ambitious yeah. or clever. Yeah, I think the collaboration effort on Melt My Eyes is awesome and really showcases how he can bring different people in. Yeah. I mean, it showed me 454. He brought Terrace Martin on. It has Robert Glasper is the first song Robert like Glasper, showing yeah. that he can get in that space. And that one is so heartfelt yeah. that he doesn't, it doesn't feel like he's doing anything outside of his actual approach. Yeah. He's just doing doing what he would do and speaking from the soul, you mm -hmm. know, like that song is like, made me almost cry. Yeah, you know? but overall I am just a little lukewarm on that project and Zoo does feel like the side quest, so it's not a perfect run. Not a perfect run. All right, now we got another Yay run. The original trilogy, probably the one that people would say is a perfect run just because they are a part of an actual trilogy. Right. This is not perfect to me at all because of late registration. Yeah. I just think that album has a lot of misses on it. It's my least favorite of these three by a lot and probably one of my least favorite Yay albums in general. See, I love Late Registration. It just, I don't know, there are some things that have aged not great that I don't have that nostalgia for, or like, oh, this is that perfect throwback sound. It's like Kanye's always taking these risks, and some of these risks that he took here just are like forgettable. Yeah, and you got Drunken Hot Girls on graduation, <laughs> which immediately pulls that out of being in the perfect yeah. conversation. But College Dropout's probably my second favorite Yay album ever. Graduation's in the top five for sure, but I prefer that other run to this Me run. Too. Not Perfect. Now we got Outcast. We got ATL Aliens, we got Aquemini, and we got Stankonia. Yeah, to me, this is like a perfect sandwich with no meat. Aquemini is like my by far my least favorite in this three. Oh, really? Yeah, love Stankonia, love ATL Aliens. Maybe it's due to just lack of time with it. Yeah. But Aquemini never... I don't know, when I was getting into it, people were like, listen to ATL Aliens, because at that point I was working backwards from Stangonia. Yeah. Because like they came on the scene with that one, the mainstream scene, I feel like. And then I went back, listened to ATL Aliens, was like, it's fucking awesome. And then I just kind of maybe only stuck around on that album, never really gave Equemini the time of day, but it's not the perfect album for me. Radiohead, The Benz, OK Computer, and Kid A. 
This don't even got my favorite Radiohead album on it. This is a joke. <laughs> but when you told me that this is the one that got sent in, I was like, the Benz is not in a perfect album run. It is like, in a certain way, for when it came out and what it was doing, it was kind of the best album that sounded like this at this time. Like, it was the best one mm-hmm. doing this. But, I mean, no. And OK Computer, to me, is a very flawed album. Like, I love the concept. I love a lot of the songs on there, but it just does not hold nearly the weight that Kid A or then In Rainbows, yeah. which I know is your favorite. Yeah. Not a perfect run to me at all. Kid A is a perfect album though. Yeah, not perfect for me either. I do like that nut face on that crash test dummy. <laughs> PJ Grant, hit us with the next one. Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance versus I Write Sins, Not Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. Wow. A ballad versus a jammer though. Yes, but both part of the emo pop heyday of the early 2000s. Anthems in their own right. And ones that have stuck around. Part of DJ sets they have no business being in. <laughs> I have to go live my dreams. <laughs> I sign in with a haven't two people ever heard of. Closing a damn. That one rips different though. It's exactly. just like everybody loves this song. It's a better song. Yeah. Three, two, one. I write sins, not tragedy. Sins. It is Welcome to the Black Parade by MCR. That is a mind blowing. Yeah. That is mind blowing. That's surprising. What the hell's the breakdown? Just a clean 60 40 split. That is wild. That is weird. Are we missing something? Wow, wow, wow. What a strange one. Two and four, please. Two is Takashi69. Oh my gosh, how did we not guess that? I don't know. And four is Nav. <laughs> you love Nav. That's, and they think he's one of the worst. And you love Lil Xan, so. I was going to guess NF. If I, was gonna, if I had another guess, I would have guessed NF. Nav's on the list, buddy. You're just going to have to learn to live with that. They're your fans. I cannot express how disappointed I am in you guys. You're visibly <laughs> shook. Like, really? That's not okay. Listen to myself right now. I'm listening to you. Not like that. Listen to the song Myself oh. by artist Nav. Oh, okay. Okay, you're back to the video. Wasn't that great? Please, never do something like that again. <laughs> My little heart can't take it.